Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Realme 10 Pro and the Realme 10 Pro Plus. Now, both of these phones you can get from online. I'll throw the links up in the description. The price for the 10 Pro, 320 bucks. The price for the 10 Pro Plus, 380 bucks. So both of these phones, under 400 bucks. All right, so let's get right into it. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. All right, let's start off with the cheaper version. We got the Realme 10 Pro. Now, like I said, this one's gonna run you 320 bucks. Comes in three different colors. You got Hyperspace, Dark Matter, and Nebula Blue. Now, for the display, you got a 6.7 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now, that's 392 for the PPI Patrol. It goes up to 680 nits brightness, and you got a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 with the Adreno 619 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Mid-range specs, bro, mid-range specs. Now it comes with eight or 12 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, and you do have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to one terabyte. Now it's running Android 13 with Realme UI 4.0 skin on top. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 33 watt fast charge. Now Realme claims you can charge this phone from zero to 50% in 29 minutes. For the cameras on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got a 108 megapixel wide angle and a two megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now from the rear cameras, you can shoot video at 1080p. Now you got dual stereo speakers, you got face unlock, you got a side-mounted fingerprint sensor, and you got a headphone jack. All right, so all of that for 320 bucks, what's missing? There's no IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant, no always on display, okay, LCD panel, no wireless charge, and you can't shoot 4K video. But 320 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. So let's get in and unbox this real quick. Now you got the black and yellow theme. Let's get in and zoom out a little bit. Bang, there it is. Okay, Realme 10 Pro. Now this is a 5G capable phone. Okay, welcome to the Realme family. Let's see what else you get. Now this should be one-stop shopping. Okay, SIM ejection tool. Usual books and shit, plug them and follow them. And of course you get a nice little case. Now let's see, little gel skin case. Nothing too fancy, but still free protection. Now for the device, okay, check this out. Whew. Now let me peel this off real quick, okay. Give me a little sticker, okay, little drop test behind the camera. Bang, there it is. Now look at that shimmer, okay. This is that nebula blue, beautiful. Okay, now check this out. 33 watt fast charging brick in the box. Samsung, Google, Apple, Pay attention in the box. And of course you got USB Type-C charging cable, no need to open this up. This is gonna be USB-A to USB Type-C. Okay, so this is the 10 Pro. Beautiful design, let me get and power this up. Okay. Now let me grab the 10 Pro Plus. Now for the 10 Pro Plus, like I said, this one's gonna run you 380 bucks. Comes in the same three colors. You got hyperspace, dark matter, and nebula blue. Now for the display, you got a 6.7 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 394 for the PPI Patrol. You got HDR 10 plus, up to 800 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you get the MediaTek Dimensity 1080 with the Mali G68 MC4 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Mid-range specs, bro, mid-range specs. Now, it's running Android 13 with Realme UI 4.0 skin on top. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 67 watt fast charge, which Realme claims will charge your phone from zero to 50% in 17 minutes and zero to 100% in 47 minutes. Now for the cameras on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 108 megapixel wide angle, an eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel macro sensor. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now with this one, you can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. 
Now you got dual stereo speakers, always on display, face unlock, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. All right, so all of that for 380 bucks, what's missing? No IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant, no expandable memory, no wireless charge, and no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars. Okay, here we go. Same black and yellow presentation. Okay, gonna pop this one open. Now this should also be one-stop shopping. Let's see, okay. Sim ejection tool, usual books and shit. This one does come with a case as well. Okay, now this is gonna be your device. Now, with this one, we got the starlight color. Let's get and peel this off. And one more. Oh, let's get a little wipe down because I need y'all to see this starlight in full glory. Okay. Woo! Check this out. Look at that. Look at that shine. Look at this. This is actually beautiful. This reminds me of the Galaxy Note 10. I remember that Aurora color. This is beautiful. Okay. Now, again, 67 watt fast charging brick in the box. Google, Samsung, Apple, you know what it is. And this is gonna be USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable. Okay. Two beautiful phones under 400 bucks. Now, even though both of these phones look pretty similar, they're actually two totally different phones. So let's break down the differences, starting with the price. Now with the Pro Plus, this one's gonna run you 380 bucks. With the Pro, this is 320 bucks. So the 10 Pro is a little bit cheaper. Next, let's talk about the build quality. Now, both of these phones have plastic backs and are not water resistant. But with the Pro Plus, this has a curved display, which is AMOLED, okay, and 800 nits brightness. This has the flat display, which is IPS LCD and 680 nits brightness. So the best way to describe how these phones feel this one feels exactly like an iPhone with the flat sides and flat display. And this one feels more like a Galaxy with the thinner bezels and curved display. Next, the processor, okay, with the 10 Pro Plus. This has the Dimensity 1080. With the 10 Pro, you got the Snapdragon 695. Now, both of those are mid-range processors, so they're pretty much about the same. Next, expandable memory. No expandable memory with the 10 Pro Plus. With the 10 Pro, expandable memory up to one terabyte. Next, battery charging speeds. Now, both of these have 5,000 milliamp batteries, but with the 10 Pro Plus, you got 67 watt fast charge versus 33 watt fast charge. So the battery's gonna charge a lot faster on the 10 Pro Plus. Next, the camera setup. Triple camera that shoots 4K, versus dual camera that only shoots 1080p. Okay, so the 10 Pro Plus has a better camera. Next, always on display. Now with the 10 Pro Plus, you got the AMOLED panel with always on display. With the 10 Pro, LCD, no always on display. And one of the last and major differences that might be a deal breaker for some of y'all, with the 10 Pro Plus, no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars, 10 Pro, headphone jack. So two phones under 400 bucks that look similar, but are completely different. Now I decided to do both of these phones in one video, so I'm gonna try to make this quick. Let's start off with the 10 Pro. The build quality on this, I actually like it better than the 10 Pro Plus. You got the flat sides, completely flat display, side mounted fingerprint sensor, okay? There's your volume rocker on the top, just got a mic. On this side, there's your SD card slot and your SIM tray, they're both in the same slot. <laughs> slot. <laughs> Headphone jack, USB Type-C charging slot, and this has dual speakers. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You got face unlock. Let me um, put my code in real quick. Okay, let me show you the face unlock. Now, I'm gonna use this finger right here, Bang, there's your face unlock. Let's do that one more time. Bang, face unlock. Of course, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin, and you got your side mounted fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Bang, just like that. 
bong. Now I got a little cut on my thumb. <laughs> so I'm trying to do that again. Bong, there it is. Okay, so the build quality on this, it definitely doesn't feel like cheap plastic. And if nobody told you it was plastic, you probably think it was glass. Okay, they, they, they build this one right. Now, with the 10 Pro Plus, you do have always on display. Okay, now, I actually like the display on this one a lot better. AMOLED panels are always better in my opinion. Now, with this one, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. You got face unlock. Bong, let's do that one more time. Bong. And, of course, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly as well. And you can turn that sound on and off if you want. I like the sound. Now, of course, I got to get a cut right before, before I do this video. No, let me do it right. You see, it does work. It's super fast. And it works every time. It's just I got this annoying cut. Okay, so now let's turn them both on side by side. Now, it's hard to see right now. Let me swipe down and see. Okay, now look. You could kind of see the difference between AMOLED and LCD. Okay, now when you're on a white page, the LCD kind of looks a little bit, I don't want to say washed out, even though it may seem like it looks brighter. But in person, you're getting more color on your AMOLED displays. I think everybody knows that by now. All right, so let's go through the basic settings real quick. Now, I want to show you. There is some more upgrades from the 10 Pro Plus when we go over to... So I'm not, not going to waste your time going through all of these settings. This is the one I want to show y'all. Let's go to Wallpapers and Style. Okay, uh, let's see where we at. Wallpapers and Style. Okay. Now, you see, always on display. Fully customizable. You got a bunch of different ones to choose from on your 10 Pro Plus. No always on display. Not to mention fingerprint animations, okay, on the 10 Pro Plus. You can change these, and each one has a different sound. I like this one right here, though. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on that one. No fingerprint sensor animation on this one. And with the 10 Pro Plus, you do have edge lighting, okay, because take advantage of the curved display. Flat panel, so no edge lighting. Okay, now I'm not going to waste your time going through all the settings. They're pretty much basically the same. Okay, so now let's do the web browsing speed test. Let's try on both at the same time. Go to apple.com. Opening, Opening web page. page. Okay, now let me um, <laughs> go ahead and do this. Set this up one more time, and then we'll try that again. Now, if you see how when the phone is on the table, you can see what I'm talking about. When you hold them both phones up like this, it may seem like the uh, IPS LCD panel is brighter. But you see when you lay it flat on the table, you can clearly see the AMOLED panel is brighter. All right, so let's do that again. Exit out of both of these. Go to apple.com. Opening, Opening web page. Well, hold on. Let me set this up. Let's try that one more time. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Okay, let me hit don't. I, I forgot to hit don't ask me again. Come on, bro. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Bro, are you kidding me? All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm going to edit that part out. Go to apple.com. Opening, Opening web, page. web page. Okay, there it is. Now you see, MediaTek versus Snapdragon, they're both about the same. Okay, both of these mid-range processors, basically the same. Now let's try, um, <laughs> let's try multitasking. Let's do a little split screen. Okay, so we'll do Facebook on the bottom. Do the same thing on this one. Okay. Facebook on the bottom. So you got Apple and Facebook at the same time. Okay, multitasking on each of these phones, beast mode. Now, both of these phones do have dual stereo speakers, but the 10 Pro Plus speakers definitely sound better. Let's do a little sound test. We'll start off with the 10 Pro. Yo, sound test, top of sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, top of sound test. Time to test 
Okay, now here's the 10 Pro Plus. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? Okay, now I'm going to play them quickly side by side <laughs> together like that and this way you can hear the difference one more time. Here's the 10 Pro. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Here's the Pro Plus. That's a sound test, baby. That's a Now you can hear it for yourself. The 10 Pro Plus has a lot more clarity and a little bit more volume. All right, so now let's check the displays. Now we'll start off with the 10 Pro, and one more side note, I love the flat build on the sides and the flat panel on the front. It just makes the phone easier to hold, in my opinion. Now this one has a little bit of bezel, okay? IPS LCD, viewing angles, not bad, not the best, but it looks beautiful. All right, so now let's take a look at the Pro Plus. Curved display, even less bezel, way better viewing angles. Okay, look at that. You see the difference? Better speakers. But you gotta get used to this curved display. This one also looks beautiful though. Now I'll turn it down. And we'll run them side by side real quick. Okay. Looks a little bit better on the 10 Pro Plus. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's try a little bit of gaming. We'll start off with the 10 Pro. Of course, I got Asphalt 9 queued up. Okay. No lag on this though. Hold up. Kind of crashed a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Okay. So this is how it looks. <laughs> Three sixties. What was that? Now we'll do a little bit with the 10 Pro Plus. Now, this time I actually like the curved display better for gaming. Okay. Uh oh. Let me hit that ramp. Let's go. Watch the landing, y'all. Okay. Now, I can't lose. I can't lose. I right, did it. All right. So, you see for yourself. Gaming on both of these phones, no issues. All right, so now let's take a look at the cameras and we'll try to do this at the same time. Remember, with the 10 Pro Plus, you got triple camera setup versus a dual camera setup. So with the 10 Pro Plus, you're gonna have wide angle lens. And here's how the differences look. So both of them have night mode, but if you notice, you got wide angle versus no wide angle on the 10. And look at the difference in that wide angle, it is wider. Now you're gonna get more zoom with the 10 Pro Plus. So in your night mode, you can zoom up to 10 times. And night mode on the 10 Pro, zoom up to six times. Now both of them have street, vid, uh, street uh, photos. But again, now you have wide angle. Okay, let's go to video. Now here's a huge difference. With the 10 Pro Plus, you got 4K, 60 frames per second. With the 10 Pro, 1080p is your maximum resolution. Now with the zoom on the video, 10 Pro Plus, 10 times zoom, 10 Pro, 
six times zoom. Now let's go to regular photos. Again, now you have a real wide angle lens on the Pro Plus versus the standard lens and the zoom. Now check this out. The zoom on the Pro Plus, you got 20 times zoom versus six times zoom on the Pro. Now both of them have portrait mode. Both of them have 108 megapixel mode. And let's go to more. Okay, so we got Pro mode, panorama. Now with the Pro Plus, you do have macro. Okay, no macro on the Pro. You got movie, slow motion, time lapse, dual video, text scanner, no text scanner on the Pro. Starry mode, no starry mode on the Pro. Group portrait and tilt shift. So basically you're gonna get a better camera experience with the 10 Pro Plus. More features. All right, so take a look at these test pictures and the videos for yourself. We're gonna start off with the 10 Pro. I took all of the same photos in the daytime and the nighttime from the same positions.
All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you spent either 320 or 380 bucks. Let's see how these phones work in the real world. We'll start with the 10 Pro. Now there's no always on display, no wireless charge. So when you wake up in the morning, all you gotta do is pick up the phone and look at it. Bang, face unlock works just like that. Now you do have side mounted fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Now the first thing I like to do, take it over to Google. Okay, let's see what's going down. Okay, let me get a little fresh refresh. Okay, let's see what's going on with the uh, Elon Musk Chronicles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Elon Musk out here wilding. Okay, Jennifer Lawrence. Okay. We got our Will Smith I, I, out of hiding. <laughs> There's been a Will Smith sighting. We got the Pixel 7. Okay. Now, I don't have this on dark mode, but if you want to, all you got to do is, uh, let's, let's see, where's dark mode at? Da, da, da. Bong, just like that. Now we in dark mode. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, so this is how your Google feed is gonna look. Exit out of that. Now I'm gonna make this quick. Let's go to Facebook. Okay, okay, so here's how your Facebook is gonna look. Now let me turn the volume down on this a little bit. Okay, here's how your Facebook feed is gonna look. Okay, what's that, a Richard? <laughs> the Richard Mill Apple Watch? Okay, okay. I like it. Let's see anything else. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. We've got my man Richard. Okay. Okay. So here's how your Facebook going to look. Let's exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Okay. Let's see what's going down in the Twitter spheres. See if anybody's talking about me. Okay. Somebody want me to review the Warriors train stations? Bro, I am not that old. Okay. I don't know if that were Warriors. I don't know nothing about that. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's see, uh, Flossie Carter's the king of tech reviews in his hilarious videos. I, I, you know, I had to read that out loud, my man Donnie. Let me go ahead and unlike it so I can like that again. Bong, you know what I'm saying? Give it a double like. Okay, so here's how your Twitter's gonna look. Okay, just like that. Now again, if you want to, you can do some split screen multitasking. Let's do Twitter, and then we'll do uh, Facebook at the same time. Back to Twitter, back to Facebook. Just like that. Okay, so let's exit out of that. Bong, there it is. Take it over to YouTube real quick. I just want to show you how to picture in picture. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, we got my man, uh, the Reverend. Let's let's see what the Reverend talking about. Oh, as a matter of fact, let's go. Let's see. Stephen Cole. I'm gonna turn this down. Exit out of that. There's your picture in picture. Okay, that works flawlessly. Remember, this is Android 13, so all of the new widgets. Exit out of that, and of course, let's take it over to the gram. <laughs> let's see what's going down on there. No, 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 no. See what's going down on Instagram. Okay. Okay, look at the Versace sheets. Okay. Okay. Now, um, shout out to my nephew. All right, this is my nephew who be making uh, rap songs. Not him, that's his son. But <laughs> he's not the word. That's my nephew that do the rap songs, you know. Okay, we got my man Tim Schofield, QB King. You know what I'm saying? One of my old school guys here. And these cats being nice. Let's exit out of that. And of course, let's see what's going down on TikTok. Okay, I'm not. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, somebody somebody actually sent me a talk. What do you call that when somebody sends you a, a talk? Somebody sent me a talk. Okay, I got a few follower requests. Okay, I'll go check that later. Okay, so that's how TikTok is going to look. RDA, regular daily activities, no issues. Now, let's do the same thing real quick with the 10 Pro Plus. Now, 10 Pro Plus, this one does have always on display. So when you wake up, you could just see notifications. Look at that. Look at those big, beautiful icons. Okay, this one has on-screen fingerprint sensor, but you also have face unlock. Bang, just like that. Now, no wireless charge in this one either. Okay, so let's swipe over. Now, did y'all see this video? Bro, let me turn this down. Did y'all see this video of this dude that had like a, like a heart attack or something like live on the air? Did y'all see that? Yo, that that is wild, right? That is so. Look at look at this, yeah. This is so crazy. And Dominique Wilkins right there, like, okay, you know, they just having a regular conversation. This is scary, man. Like, this is real life, yo. Like, one minute you at work, and just like that, you could just be up out of here. Look at that. That is so crazy, yo. I seen that the other day. Now, since I used to work in an ambulance, like I, I've seen stuff like that happen in real life before, but it's just crazy, man. Like you never know. 
It's crazy. All right, so we got the Moto Edge. Okay, now this one, instead of putting on dark mode, I'm going to leave it on uh, light mode, Pixel 7 activities, World Cup. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, some new movie trailers. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to uh, Facebook. Let's see what's going back down on Facebook. Let me, <clears throat> let me clear my voice. <clears throat> get ready. Get ready to say it, y'all. Get ready to say it. Okay, another Richard Mill Apple Watch. I'm getting one of these. I like this, yeah. I like this. Get the Richard Milley Apple Watch. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Okay, anyway, I'm going to try to make this quick. Oh, check this out. The Bowers and Wilkins PX8s McLaren Edition. Now, look, let me go ahead and... um screenshot that because i'm getting these all right anybody want to buy my bowers working px8s i'll sell them to you right now because i want these okay anyway oh, no, no, no. okay look don't those richard mill apple watches coming out the woodworks okay my man right here kevin really get that beard bro i'm hating all right anyway let's keep it moving all right let's do a little split screen multitasking split it up okay let's do that one more time Let's do, um, oh, I, of course, of course, I split it right to Facebook. Real smart. Let's do a split screen. Let's open up, um, da, 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 what can we do? Let's do YouTube on the bottom. Okay, so we got YouTube, Facebook at the same time. Split screen multitasking, no issues. Okay, let's check out YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to watch a video. There's your picture in picture. Okay, again, Android 13, all of the new widgets. Exit out of that, bong, just like that. Back to Twitter. Now, this time, let's just see what's going down on the random tweets. Okay, look at that little doggy. <laughs> get a little doggy. All right, who did the Apple update with the um, karaoke feature? That's pretty dope. Let's see, um, Apple track. Okay. Okay. I'll be getting a lot of random tweets. Let's see, somebody about to get... Oh, somebody about, somebody about to get it? Somebody about to get it? Okay, well, we'll look at that later. Anyway, so this is how your Twitter is going to look. Make sure you update to iOS 16.2, okay? Okay, so that's your Twitter's right there. Nothing going down for me. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Okay. Let's see, now, I was just I was in the middle of watching Amaya's TikTok. That was what I was doing last. Let's see, you know, I got to be stalking Amaya, see what she up to. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, <laughs> luckily he had that helmet on, bro. Now he would have been having a bad day. Now, what is these? Oh, look at that, what is that? Now, y'all know, I'm a hashtag RGB life. When I see stuff like this, I immediately have to get in like that. Maya looking luxurious right now, okay. I miss a Maya, that's why every time I see her, I get a little emotional. No matter of fact, let me get in like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we got some iPhone cases. Okay, some Rottweilers, <laughs> whatever that was. It. Okay, so anyways, here's how your TikTok is going to look. This is what you're going to be doing all day. Scrolling, up, up, up. Scrolling through TikTok. Let's exit out of that. Now let's take it over to Instagram. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Red Magic got a new phone coming out. Let's see. Um, okay. Uh, nah, nah, nah. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> okay, my man got a little crazy hairstyle right there. But I'll be rocking the Cassell. The Cassell sunglasses, though, I don't know about that hairstyle, but hey, to each his own, man, to each his own. Red Magic, they got a new gaming monitor coming out. You know I'm copping that immediately. Let's see what Joe Rogan's talking about. Let's see, you got, got some new books that you recommending. Okay. Okay. I like that. Okay, let's see anything else. Okay, Tribit having a Christmas sale. All right, <laughs> techniques. <laughs> Anyway, so this is this how your Instagram is gonna look. Who that? Cardi B? Cardi B looking all right. Okay. Let's see. Let's follow. Let's get one more. Let's get one. All right, so exit out of that. So anyway, RDA, regular daily activities on both of these phones. No issues at all. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, so let's go ahead and rank these. On a scale of one to ten, the Realme 10 Pro is a go. And the Realme 10 Pro Plus is a major go. And at under 400 bucks each, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Remember, different strokes for different folks. It all depends what you want. Now, honestly, I like the build quality better on the 10 Pro. If you want the flat panel, this is the way to go. But if you want the curved AMOLED display, spend a couple of extra dollars more and go with the 10 Pro Plus. Not to mention, okay, SD card slot, 
Expandable memory? No expandable memory. Okay? Faster battery charging speeds, slower battery charging speeds. 4K video, wide angle lens, no 4K video, no wide angle lens. Always on display, no always on display. Headphone jack, no headphone jack. Different strokes for different folks. But either way, you're paying under 400 bucks each. You can't argue with that. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hit me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in lap. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss and Matt. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck the Beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit so make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.